But anyway, as the, the promo was over with, here's music and here come, they used to be bear country. And we saw them recently, the Iron Savages. And what is their little jacked up short manager muscle heads name, J. Jonah Jameson? I don't know. I don't know what was happening here, actually. <laughs> okay, th these two fat f***ing bearded hairy fellows, the bears that are now the Iron Savages, have a manager that's a little muscle head on his own, but he's shorter. I think his name is J. Jonah Jameson or Jameson something or other. John and Jacob he, Jingleheimer Smith. Well, his name is your name too. And they came out and the short stooge was just screaming almost unintelligibly into the microphone. You could catch words where he was putting them over and, and introducing the, the, his group. That's not a bad thing, but it was so, he was not only screaming, he was gargling the words. He, they were trying so hard that he was almost ready to have an aneurysm. And I wrote, these are the most annoying, unsympathetic, obnoxious baby faces that have ever been on a wrestling program. And the fans did not give a shit about this match because they hated the baby faces. They were not only bad performers, they were obnoxious human beings. So we had a six man with the guns and juice against Meathead Stew here that even went through a break. And that's where I said the gun boys, they're trying and Juice is working his ass off. They tried as hard as possible to make something out of this, but the opponents were sloppy. They were bigger heels. And I thought that the guns and juice gave them too much in the match that they weren't capable of carrying, especially that big guy that planted both of the guns and then slammed juice on top of them. They're job guys. In case you ain't figured it out, they're there to get you guys over. You don't have to be that charitable with these guys that are the shits that are too old that ain't going to make it at this point anyway, and are there for cannon fodder for you to draw some fucking money. Be a little more prickish. You don't have to goddamn wipe them out in 30 seconds, but any of the three of these guys, or all of them, or any of them, throwing the alleged, one of the top alleged heel groups around, was a little much. And the people hated it. And finally, Juice beat one of them and took them 10 minutes. Talk about the match. Well, this was the highlight for me. I have some audio here. This was one of the uh, Iron Savages making a reference to, uh, again, these are their baby faces, talking about the heel gun boys. Let's go to this. You can call me ass boy, because I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> yes, he wanted to be called ass boy because he was going to motorboat the other guy's asses. <laughs> Those are my only other thoughts about the match. <laughs> you have to see the visual because he really like. Oh yeah, he's up. into it. <laughs> he's, I'm telling you, he's got sphincter on the brain there. What so was, uh, even the Nigel, I think it was, was like, what was that? <laughs> yeah, just, I, Nigel was was offended. Blah, blah. <laughs> but that was fine. But then we had seen the Bullet Club Gold out there pretty much uninterrupted for what, 25, 30 minutes at that point? Yeah, it was too long. And it was too long and it was matches that you, I mean, maybe some people in the Dalton Castle, but at least with this other match, if you weren't already predisposed to knowing who Iron Savages are or whatever their gimmick is, you may not have seen this as entertaining as... The Iron Savages' immediate families were not entertained by this. I don't care whether you know them or not. 